Okay, so this was the whole Logitune thing with the software. So basically it's like Logitune software, so it's Logitune. I opened RegEdit and searched for Logitune and just deleted everything that came up. <laughs> oh man, he went he went Hellfire and Brimstone. Restart it, then re-downloaded the installer. Now I no longer get the uninstall first error, but instead it starts going, then just gets more of a generic installation failed. Probably messed something up in RegEdit. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly, <laughs> that's, ex okay, I'm sorry, I thought I was in caps. That's exactly why I didn't say, to, why I didn't tell <laughs> you to click on anything there. Have no idea which one we need to turn off, but, Sounds like it may be hose at this point. So the best way to find out what files in RegEdit to kill would be to contact Logitech support. Also, for funsies, would you per chance have a restore point to before you installed this software. That's what I would say for this. If you have a restore point, um, then take it. But if you don't, um, then I would actually call Logitech on this one because there's nobody, nobody's gonna know in RegEdit what you have to do to take out Logitune. On top of that, you deleted everything in RegEdit that said Logitune, which is awful. So now no one knows what to do with this so um so yeah and then you uh deleted the registry on that so yeah i did not say that so um you do not hold me liable there i tried to tell you not to click on it i tried to tell you to go around and instead install an older version but okay whatever um still alive <laughs> barely but yeah you're, you're still alive bro um yeah yeah that's all i can really think of on this one and where will you need to go on this? Because I don't know what you actually turned off or removed or killed in RegEdit and how dangerous that is. So yeah, your best bet is just to ask Logitech so they can tell you exactly what to remove.